Hello everybody, this is Starman, and welcome back to Let's Play Quest for Glory 4, Shadows of Darkness, The Thief Path. Well, as you can see, I'm standing over the body of a rabbit, and it is just now starting you to get dark. You are near the northeastern corner of the forest. And we are in the northeastern corner of the forest. I spent the better part of day 8 after I left the Romany camp, uh, fought two different bunnies, the second of which stands before me, and then I spent the rest of the day resting up and doing acrobatics. And what do I have to show for it? Well, acrobatics is now at 241, vitality is at 331. But before that, dodge jumped up a bit to 321, intelligence and agility are closest to being maxed out, luck also went up a fair bit. But strangely enough, uh, the constant dodging did not seem to affect my dodge skill that much. But that's fine, anyway. I think we'll probably encounter some more interesting monsters here at night. But I did want to go to the camp of Baba Yaga first. And yes, now we're getting that tense evening music. And the stars are coming out. These bushes look as though someone planted them. Yeah, I was hoping for it to be somewhat daylight, but... Thinking you see a gap beyond the west... Should still be able to do this part at night. Anyway, greet Bonehead. So, what are you here for besides my scintillating conversation? You know, if you keep going on doing all that hero stuff, you're gonna wind up with the goody two-shoes blues. You know, black and blue and dead all over. Yeah, give me something to improve my looks. Well, by happy coincidence, we just happen to have a ghostly hat. So, have you got an excuse for being here, or have you just come to... Not bad, not bad at all. I can tell by the reflections in your eyes that it gives me character, makes me look mysterious and handsome. Hey, all right, you guys. This guy is okay by me. You can let him through. You again? I thought you'd pick up my clue and shoo. It's not that Baba won't welcome you, it's just that she'll welcome you with open mouth. And ask about the skull. I'm still smiling, ain't I? What do you expect me to say? Sorry, I've got a headache. Ask about Baba Yaga. She's expecting you. Bats told me she got out a favorite book just for the occasion. How to Serve Man. <laughs> I cracked myself up. Ask about the hut. How should I know what that hut wants? If you want to catch a chicken, think like a chicken. And I think we're getting this before we're supposed to, uh... Before we're supposed to, because it's presuming we've already walked up to the hut. Baba Yaga came from a place a bit to the east of here, but she always had a soft spot for this little valley. Said there was a lot of dark magic about this place, so she thought she'd spend the winter here before moving back home. And ask about the hat. Hey, this hat does a good job at keeping the rain and sun off my skull. Yeah, you may not be much to look at, but at least you have your uses. Anyway. What he was talking about with thinking like a chicken with the HUD is that as we try and approach it... Hey, it doesn't like you very much, I guess. Probably blames you for having to fly all the way from Spielberg. Maybe you could find something to win the bird-brained HUD over and calm it down. Well... What would you use to make a chicken happy? And what were we somehow able to steal from the town gates without any comment? That's a lot of corn for one shuck. A strangely familiar, scratchy voice shouts, NOW! Yes. 
spirits of the frigid north, spin the water, draw it forth. Frosty spirits summon twice, turn the water into ice. That voice isn't that scratchy. You find yourself trapped in ice. Come for a little visit, are we? A little chat, perhaps? We remember the last time you came for a little visit, don't we, kids? You turned me into a frog, didn't you, ha? Huh? Thought I wouldn't remember you. You thought to yourself, let's just visit Baba Yaga and see what we can turn her into today. Well, you thought wrong, kiddo. Well, now you're here and all trapped like a fly in a web. Just looking at you reminds me of lunch. So, uh, what'll it be, kids? Hero sandwiches or hero on the half shell? Seeing as he is already frozen, we could just settle for a little ice cream sundae with a whipped scream and nuts. You're not whipping my nuts, lady. Oh, good. We'll just skip the main course and go straight to dessert. Any last words from the soon-to-be supper? Okay, time to fast talk. Say hello. You want those to be your last words? Oh. Well, let's talk about the gnome. You tell about Mr. Bones the gnome, and the reason you came here. So, you come here to help the jester get back his jokes, huh? How fitting. He made a fool out of me because you made a frog out of me, and now I'll make food out of thee. Just desserts, after all. <laughs> so now we can all have our favorite treat to eat. Isn't that right, kids? You'd rather have pie. What? I pie? <laughs> Oh, elderberry pie! It's true, we haven't had that for a long while. But I can't very well make one now. I don't have any of the ingredients. Hmm. Oh, poo poo poo! Now that you mention it, I'd really like some elderberry pie. With or without ice cream. You're right. He did bring us a mandrake, didn't he? And it made such a lovely mousse. Very well. But it means no ice cream for now. So, Mr. Tender Morsel, I'll give you another chance. Bring me some fresh elderberry pie, and I won't have you for dessert. Agreed? Good. Vigorously, you nod your head in agreement. Good! Bring us some fresh elderberry pie, or we'll just settle for Adam's apple pie and the minced meat instead. <laughs> we'll recycle this ice around this fool for iced knee later. Hero Lout, now get out. Well, what have we here? Back in one piece? I sure never expected to see you outside of a quiche again. Well, tell about the meeting. She sent you after an elderberry pie? Well, you're not gonna find that one in the freezer section of your local store. Alright, so, ask about... Yaga. Boy, I can't believe she didn't meet you. I guess the sweet tooth is bothering her again. Fortunately for you, she didn't get a yearning for sweet breads instead. Alright, so ask about elderberry pie. She didn't give you the recipe. 
All right, let's see. You'll need a pie pan for starch. You'll need bone meal for a crust, grew goo for flavoring, and elderberry berries, of course. Okay, ask about bone meal. Well, it won't be on the shelf with the flour and cornmeal. You'll probably need to make it yourself. Get some bones and grind them. Hey, don't look at me like that. You know, Baba wouldn't like it if you use bones she knows personally, but a bone meal, if you know what I mean. So, no grabbing a mouthy skull and grinding you up. How should I know how you get a pie pan? You're the one with the skull still stuffed with brains. Use them! And Grugu? That's the stuff that leaks out of the Dark One's cave. It's kind of like molasses gone bad. Really bad. The green slime and elderberry berries. You'll need to pick them right off the elderberry bush. Careful or you'll make it cry. There's nothing worse than elderberry wines. Dum. Ask about elderberry bush. I don't know much about it. I don't get around much after all. I think it's a mean green to the northwest. Hey, careful around it. If you destroy it, you'll make Baba very displeased with you. On the other hand, it could destroy you. Yeah, darn near dead. Okay, so... Remember that bone that we went out of our way to grab? You put the bones into the huge mortar. Now what? Well... You work the pestle back and forth in the mortar. It's hard work, but after a while you manage to grind the bones into a fine bone meal with almost the consistency of flour. Right, so... You fill the flask with powdery bone meal from the mortar. Okay, so... We have our pie pan. You pour the bone meal into the pie tin, then put the empty flask back in your pack. Take the grugu and put... After immeasurable minutes, the last of the gooey grugu splurches into the pie pan. You rub the slimy fast clean and put it away. And finally, elderberry berries. You toss the elderberries into the pie tin. This pan is full of a sickly red assemblage of poisonous elderberry berries. The pan has been thoroughly greased with grugu. Brown up human bones make up the flour in the pan. Looking good. Now show it to the head skull over there and get out of the way fast if you don't want to add rump roast to the Baba's menu for the night. All right. The skulls appear to have stopped flashing their lasers. You pick up the pie. It's been cooked to a delicate golden brown. Hey, bird legs! Squat! You quickly step out from under the trap. A moment later, you hear the voice of Baba Yaga. Not very trusting, is he, kids? Good. It's not like I trust him. Floor quick, make him stick. You find your shoes stuck to the floor. Spirits of the swamp and mire, aid me in what I desire. Creatures of the mist, beings of the fog, turn this human into a cute hedgehog. Oh, at least I'm cute. a sudden craving for a tiggly wiggly perhaps some hedgehog grog hedge piggly swiggly and pig newtons hmm. what's that you say elderberry pie oh darn he was bringing that here wasn't he yes i was yes i was i don't suppose a piggly wiggle can get the pie from his backpack could he Particularly if his feet are stuck to the floor. Oh, pity. Spirits of the mist and more, restore this man as he was before.
So, now my dining delight, do you have what I asked for? That smells delicious, just the way we like it, fresher from the fire. So, let me think, how should I reward you for such a lovely pie? <laughs> well, kitty, should we just fry him now, or for an entree have green spleen casserole with a roast leg of man? <laughs> Oh, all right. I suppose he did do us a favor. It wouldn't be polite to eat him now. Besides, he may be useful in the future. So what is it that you want as a reward for your lovely pie? Well... The ugly ogress is Baba Yaga, whom you chased out of Spielberg when you were still learning the hero business. Ogresses aren't really cannibals you know. After all, they aren't human themselves, so they see no reason not to eat people. Uh, we'll go ahead and look at the kids. It's Baba Yaga's pet bat. Bats. It looks hungry, but hopeful. And look at the spider. There are candles everywhere. Probably used for heating fondos. There are ca There are ca There are ca Well... Tell about Gnome's humor, ask for something different, make the thief sign. Let's stick with the humor for now. You tell about the Gnome and how he wants his humor back. Humor, is it? You want this sense of humor? I'm not sure the Gnome really had a sense of humor. Making fun of poor old ogresses. Oh, you're not that old. Oh, oh shit, shit. All right. Take this good humor bar and give it to the Gnome. I suppose there is nothing more pathetic than a gnome who can't tell a joke. You take the good humor bar and put it away. You've got what you wanted, and I've got what we wanted. Tasty treat, now retreat. Well, I guess she liked the pie, or you would have taken its place. <laughs> And we have something to help Mr. Punnybones. We can go back for more because one other thing while we're here, remember how it said there was a dark one ritual in the hangman's tree? A huge old gnarled oak nestles a large rock under its roots as if it were hatching an egg. And you've seen better trees to climb. After all, you really don't want to end up hanging around here. Searching it, you find a large knot hole, but there's not anything inside of it. Return of the Red Hot Lovers, eh? You rig Oh, so Baba Yaga already took care of you. Oh, looks pretty bad. You better get that fixed if Yeah. Anyway, ask about Baba Yaga? Eh, yeah, go on in and find out for yourself. If I didn't know you better, I'd be pretty jealous right now. <laughs> if I... Yeah. And one other thing, there's still some bone meal in... There's no well, I thought there was, but apparently not anymore. But you can grind up more bones to make more <clears throat> bone meal. Luckily, we do have one thing that we can use to buy Baba Yaga's favor. Baba Yaga speaks out loud. That's so true, blew his shoes. You find your feet stuck again to the floor. Oh, back so soon, Cookie Face. I hope for your sake you brought us something to eat. After all, there's always room for hero. <laughs> Yeah, you can keep coming back, but unless you give her something to eat each time, you're going to get killed. 
So that is not something. Yeah, she does not like. I'm getting hungrier. Yeah, she doesn't like garlic candy. She doesn't like avocado sandwiches. Weirdly enough, but. Well, it is true that Grugu -goo makes a lovely sauce for ice cream Sundays. <laughs> So what do you want for this cookie? Well, ask for the Dark One Ritual. You ask Baba Yaga about a Dark One Ritual. So, you heard about that, huh? I found it in the hangman's tree some years ago. You're asking for trouble, I hope you know. Using the ritual for any purpose will only bring you grief. It can be used in either one or two ways. Its main purpose is to bring a Dark One across to this world. However, a very powerful wizard could use it to send the Dark One back to its world. You don't qualify as a very powerful wizard as I see it. Meh. Still, you want it, you got it. You put the ritual away in your pack. Hero near, out of here. Oh, back so soon? And just because I'm curious... I think the only thing I have left that will uh, interest her out loud. is maybe the garlic. Cut so true, blew his shoes. You find... Make thief sign. You adopt the traditional thief sign position. Wiggling the fingers of your right hand and rubbing your belly with your left hand. And no one seems particularly impressed. Uh, I was hoping that there'd be a particularly sarcastic response. Well. Garlic? Oh, I can always use some garlic. It goes with everything. Now I can make some garlic head so what do you want for this cookie uh not dying would be just fine and... oh do drop in soon it's so nice to have some snacks now and then hero near out of here and if you're playing a wizard, you can learn a spell from Baba Yaga. Oh, so soon. But as a thief, that is all we need. Be seeing ya. Actually, no you won't. And this is the last time we see Bonehead or Baba, because this is all we need from them in the saga. And let's see, what time is it? Still early evening. After some And I'm just resting, so I'm not completely dead dead if I run into something, which is increasingly likely. I think we have just enough time to make it back to the village. And maybe run into a certain lady from the castle. But we just managed to sneak across Mordavi without running into anything. And nope, nobody waiting for me at the gate. You def Well heck. You uh We may have made it back in time for dinner. Get a fine meal of roast duckling a la garlic. Okay, greet everyone. Good evening, Slick. Hey, how you doing? Good to see you, okay? Greetings and salutations. Welcome. And talk about myself. Oh, you've done quite a lot in Mordavia, pal. Yeah, it's a good thing you came here, a good thing. 
Yeah, because frankly, we never knew there were that many things to do around here. And nothing new from Bella. Nothing new from Yuri. But let's see what the common clay have to say. Cave? What am I, a tour guide? What cave? Well, you must mean my apartment. We know of no cave in Mordavia. He probably means the cave of the Dark One. Oh, yeah. That cave. <laughs> Very scary, you know? We didn't know you meant that cave. We, uh, generally don't care to talk about it. It's, uh, somewhat on the cursed side, know what I mean? Oh, yeah. It's bad luck. Very bad. It was made by the cult when they performed their unspeakable rites there and a few unspeakable wrongs from what we hear. That's why it's kinda Ixnay on the A's K, you follow? Okay, ask about the townspeople. Well, now that the harvesting season's over, I can relax a skosh. Oh yeah. Now that the garlic is gathered, and the cloves are put into the ground for next year, I can sit, enjoy myself, and be stinky. Now that the elephants are all gone, I have nothing better to do than sit here and help the others drink. I regard it as kind of a public service. Ask about Rusalka. A Rusalka is the undead spirit of a drowned maiden, okay? Yeah. She tries to lure others to a watery death. What a body! That's the downside. The upside is she doesn't wear any clothes. So obviously there is some attraction, but there was a rumor for a while that there was a Rasalka in Mordavia's lake. Yeah, no one who tried to check this rumor out ever returned. Rasalka's supposed to be very beautiful, you know. And the ones that went to find out all guys. What a pity. What a shame. Yeah, but what a way to go. No comment. Vampires. Oh, great. Chamber of Commerce is gonna have a fit. Look, just because Mordavi is noted for vampires, it doesn't mean that there are any here. Yeah, just because we string garlic everywhere doesn't mean we're worried about vampires, it just means we're stinky! Yeah, I mean, come on, you're, you're overreacting here. Just because no one dares to go out at night or even thinks about visiting Castle Borgov doesn't mean we believe in vampires here! Ask about the castle. Look, we know doodly squat about the people of the castle, alright? Oh, he's right! I mean, we have no reason to suspect that they're vampires. Other than the fact that no one has seen them in the daytime and huge black bats circle the castle at night. No reason at all. And we can ask about rumors in general. Look, Cool Breeze, I tried to tell you before, we do not gossip here. Yeah, unless we really want to. If there's any backstabbing going on around here, pal, we're going to do it face to face. And that is all we get out of him this time. We'll go ahead and say goodbye. Away a few in response. And I think we'll go ahead and close this chapter out here. But next time, we'll enjoy a little bit more Mordavian nightlife and maybe get the next quest set up. See you then.